All right, uh, you're probably a little tired now. Yeah, I am. I mean, we really put the culinary skills oh, to the test today, didn't culinary we? Culinary skills. <laughs> yeah, in big quotations. Yeah. First ever CBC Black Box Cooking Challenge was held today in Wolfville as part of the Devour Food and Film Festival. Ryan, Amy, and I were each paired with a local chef for a culinary showdown. Have a look. Hey, Nova Scotia. Welcome to the CBC's first ever Black Box Cooking Challenge. It's the pros meets the press. Audience, count them down from five, four, three, two, one, and they're off. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look at this. Onions, tomatoes. That smell of bacon. Can opener. So what do you want to do with those uh, tomatoes? Okay. This is the opening of the can, which is a critical stage in the cooking process. <laughs> uh, there, success. She's open. <laughs> She's open. Note the amazing style. <laughs> All right, how are we going to cook that? Do we, we don't have mustard, do we? No. Because you could do like a... Like I don't want to overload it with stuff either. No. And the corner on it is how much cheese is too much cheese. We're on fire over here. Pepper. How you doing, Ryan? I'm doing well. I'm, uh, I think I'm... Uh, fired off as well. Okay. Maybe Not being a hindrance. How about you? We're doing okay. We got a game plan. I'm kind of caramelizing up some of those apples as well. Is that enough onion? Or you want a little more? Yeah, that should do. That should do. All right, Ryan, what do you got going on here? Seriously, what do we got to... Well, you know? we got a little... Were you... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm in the way. Sure. I'm, uh, turn that on there, Ryan. We're also... Uh... Check on the competition. Don't want to set the fire alarm that off. That looks delicious, Ryan. Right? Yeah, that's really good, Ryan. Yeah, well, that's well, well, nicely. I just wanted to this make sure... <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right. Uh, uh, you really have to be babysat, don't you, Ryan? <laughs> pretty much. I've got, uh, you know, the, the frying pan on fire. Yeah, that's and, good. And uh, then I'm going to yeah. add in some bacon, I think, eventually right. here. Yeah. Uh, but... Today? You think I'm going to do today, or...? <laughs> So this is our dish, which uh, I think you agree is very fall colored themed with, uh, again, trying to use as many ingredients as we could from right here in the valley. And I washed some dishes. And he washed dishes. <laughs> you had me a bacon. He did great. Enjoy. Hi folks. Judges. Are you hungry? Oh, I'm hungry. All right. Yeah, so this is our dish. Uh, we decided to go a little breakfast themed. So it's an Irish breakfast box tea. Enjoy. <laughs> Excellent. Thank well, you. as the judges, we'll be the judge of that. You will. <laughs> oh, McHale. How are you feeling? Mm, pretty good. It's yeah. going to be different than the other ones, I think. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like this so. is good home cooking. I need it. We just, I would, that's what I would need. <laughs> how are you feeling, Amy? feel good. Yeah, i got a good team member. I've got a great team member. Yeah, we're Enjoy. happy. Look at their eyes light up. Hi. Wow. <laughs> uh, uh, so we have a surf and turf here. Hope you enjoy. Enjoy. Beautiful. Well, I think on the presentation side, we did well. We got lots of color on the plate there. It's nice balance. I think. Yeah, nice yeah. balance. A little goat cheese, a little tomato, lots of butter. <laughs> More butter. <laughs> the steak is perfect. Mm -hmm. the steak is perfect. The steak is perfect. Of course, there can only be one winner. And the winner of the first ever CBC Press and Pro Chef Challenge was team number two. All right. All right. All right. And Shane. Well done. Oh, I present to you the golden sponsor. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Congratulations. Fantastic. Oh, okay.
Okay. Now, I, you know, we're going to enjoy this for a little yeah, while. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. The worst part about this is we're going to have to watch Tom gloat with his golden spatula oh, for the next year. How are we going to How are we going to live with him? I know. Did you get to, Did you get to hold it? You know what? No, I, you can't. No, because yeah, no, maybe next year, Ryan. Yeah, that's right. Maybe next year. I can only oh, yeah. admire it from oh, afar. Always a bridesmaid, huh? <laughs> Amy, you know I had some serious help there, of course, as we all did. My chef was uh, Shane Robillard from Fox Harbor. Fantastic to work with Shane. A lot of fun today, and uh, you know this is really your spatula. Let's be honest here. 